Santa's bringing us something special this winter. The new Inokatsu Air Force Sonbar GBB Super version. This is absolutely the most authentic M4 replica to date. Red Bull TV brings you a video review of this tasty new GBB. Unlike the WAM4, which is slightly smaller than the real steel, this is a one-to-one -one scale replica of the real carbine. This weapon is so realistic, it can even accept real steel, butt stocks, pistol grips, and flash items. An adapter is included with the Inokatsu M4 to allow it to take airsoft flash items. It features a cold forged, stamped, and machined aluminium receiver with officially licensed cold markings. The stock features authentic markings and has exceptionally little wobble. Inokatsu paid so much attention to details, they even put markings inside the foregrip. The finish is so realistic that when we showed this to PMC professionals, they couldn't tell the difference between this and the real thing. Inside the lower receiver, we find an all-steel trigger group. The trigger assembly has been retuned so that even when the hammer is down, the knocker does not exude into the magwell, which means that even when the weapon is loaded when it's not cocked, gas is not prematurely ejected. The bolt carrier has a removable weight for adjustment of the cyclical rate and the felt recoil. The bolt features a negative pressure system to maintain stable power. Front is between 390 and 400 FPS, the sweet spot for skirmishing. The bolt carrier itself is made of steel, a first for GBB M4s. The Inoketsu has a strong recoil spring to counteract the high weight of the bolt to increase the rate of fire and felt recoil. It requires very little internal upgrades, but that said, it is compatible with WA parts. In particular, Red Wolf does recommend the PDI 6.01mm Type 4 barrel. The hop-up is adjusted internally, which makes it ideal for such a hard-kicking weapon. The Type 4 barrel has a smaller interior volume. This maintains higher pressure and so squeezes that much more power out of your weapon. We recommend using mags with rollers to ensure smooth ride of the bolt carrier. The multifaceted rail system allows for a variety of options, allowing you to create that soft bolt look. And now we move on to a few field tests. For the range of tests, we'll be using Jim Bob here. To simulate his head, we're actually going to use a coke can, which is actually smaller than a human head. That should help facilitate us to demonstrate the accuracy of this weapon. Go. Our 50 meter full auto grouping. Jim Bob isn't a happy bunny. In this demonstration, I'm not shouldering the weapon or gripping the pistol grip. I'm just using my thumb and index finger to exert pressure on the trigger. Notice how the sheer recoil of the weapon throws it back and forth, the entire weapon trembling under that force, and how its recoil is actually causing it to ride up and bounce around on the gun cradle. By comparison, here I am shooting the WEM4. Notice how the recoil does not wobble the weapon so much, and even with the recoil throwing the weapon back and forth, it still stays quite comfortably on the gun cradle. In this instance, I am bracing the weapon as hard as I can in an attempt to film the bolt moving back and forth so we can show you how it works. But as you can see, even with my best efforts, trying to control this weapon is more like trying to walk an angry Doberman. It thrashes and kicks as it throws around in my hands, and as frightened as my enemies are from the sound of this thing, to be honest, I'm probably just as afraid of it myself. So at the end of the day, this is a fantastic weapon, but it is a platform because the true beauty of the SOM mod is its unending accessory possibilities. So for re recreating that look or customizing your own tailored look, do be sure to check out this weapon and many other options at our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com.